For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shout. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another explosive one play touchdown video for you guys today. Today, I'm be showing you guys a play that I might have put out in the past. It's one of the most explosive, hard to stop plays in the game, and it hits a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game. The playbook I'm in, once again, is the Tennessee Titans. This is becoming slowly one of my more favorite offenses. I'm pretty sure that I had this playbook in my top five offenses the last time I did a top five offensive playbook video. I was towards the bottom. I think it was like four or five. But ultimately, it's an elite offense that not a lot of people know about. The formation I'm going to use today is going to be the single back tight way off. If you guys missed the run plays, I will leave a link in the description for that. But if you guys want to see a full breakdown Woo! of this offense, run plays and pass plays at a future date, hit the like button let me know in the comment section. The pass play itself is going to be the PA post dig i have more passing plays though if you guys want to see them i will have them in my patreon on my join now community tab like i said hit the like button in the comment section if you want to see them on youtube but let's go and let's pick that the only thing you really need to be aware of on this particular play is have your best and your fastest receiver at this particular spot because this is where all the home runs are going to come from other than that let's go ahead and let's pick the pa post dig on the defensive side, we're going to start off with Tampa 2 like we always do and work our way back. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor, AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your mud team up and help support this channel, all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below. Use your discount code MONEY to get 3% off what's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market. Or you can check out their other products. They sell products for just about every single game out there, especially sports games like NBA 2K, FIFA, Rocket League, things like that. You play any of those games, they'll have cheap products for them. Check them out. Link in the description below. Now, as far as a minimal setup goes... All I have to do is put the X route on a 10 yard out route. That's it. That's a five yard out route. And then I reset it by smart routing it for people that don't know. So it's really that simple. That's all I have to do. If I really want to make this play easier though, I can motion them out. Uh, I don't know why I went back to a five yard out route there, but like I said, a 10 yard out route motioned out will be the maximum setup that you need to do. And then you'll see how this B route here gets a lot of separation. Now, I don't know what happened with that throw. I guess it just said inaccurate bullet pass, but you can see the separation. I'll do that without making that motion. Just to show you guys, like I said, you can if you want to do it similar to what I was doing previously um, with uh, as far as, you know, motion across the tight end like I did in the previous video where you're doing that for a lot of the pass plays, you can motion them across just to basically create a similar look. And you can see A.J. Brown's getting across the same way. So the motion really didn't have anything to do with that, but you can see it's an easy one-play touchdown. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that one time just like this. I would like to re-block Pruitt because that, that animation he's doing is really kind of weird and it, it kind of messes everything up. So you can see here now we have a lot of extra blocking. You can see A.J. Brown's getting over the top. I mean, that's the minimum you have to do is 10-yard out route that receiver. There are some additional setups you can do when it comes to this play, especially against cover two. If you block the tight end one more time, then motion across the B route. You have to block the tight end first because if you don't, you can't re-block him once he steps aside like he did there. But motion across the B route, put the X route on a streak, and now you'll have a one-play touchdown to the outside uh, with from a very similar look to some of the actual passing plays. Although I'm not sure if I'm going to get that type of catch and run that I want. You can see how this route really angles directly at the um you know the opening in the outside of the cover too and then you have the y route pulling down that cornerback now there i forgot to do the pass block when it comes to the tight end uh you can see you can get a one play touchdown out of this stuff you have a really fast receiver really agile receiver you can get a one play touchdown out of this very easily to the outside that exact same series of setups will work well against cover two man as well so let's go let's pick that against cover two man i really think that the best way to run this is going to be the original setup uh, this is something that you'll probably have the most success because you have a really good inside release 
and that's really going to give you the most separation when it comes to this play. As you can see, I don't really have a huge speed advantage once again, but it does get going for a one play touchdown. So next up we have cover three. We're going to pick that play again and we'll pick cover three sky on defense. Against cover three, it's pretty much gonna be the exact same setup. You're gonna motion this guy out, only this time you're gonna put the A route here on a streak. You can't have him blocking, uh, but ultimately you need him to pull back the safety. You're gonna see how we're gonna have pretty much the exact same result as the cornerback here is just wide away from the play. Once again, not really fast receivers. You can see we're getting a huge opening though. And I feel like I'm trying to perform surgery with a butter knife here, but you can see how this particular setup works. Once this guy gets across, like I said, speed would be huge here. There was, the cornerback that's supposed to be covering that area is nowhere to be found. He's 10, 15 yards away from the play. So all you really have to do is bullet, pass lead away from the safety. You're gonna have an easy one play touchdown every single time. The Titans are not the best passing team. They're not too bad, but Tannehill doesn't have the arm strength. I don't really have the fastest receivers. And you can see I'm still getting these plays done as I'm getting one play touchdowns over the top. I would just have a little more separation if I had a faster receiver and a stronger arm quarterback. So next up, we'll do cover one man. This is going to be the alternate setup that's going to work best against this. Let's pick cover one hole. Against cover one, you can have success the same way. You don't have to make that motion, though, based off of the fact that, um, you know, you can just save the motion it's not really that important but you can see the routes really bump each other off as we get over the top slightly one more time based on the fact that i just don't have enough speed or arm strength and then last but not least we have cover four we're gonna have to leave this formation and go to the dollar to see that so we'll go for cover four drop against cover four this is somewhat of a natural cover for one play touchdown but to make it even easier just put the x route on a drag you want to run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field so that the route gets across the field a little bit quicker and then once he's parallel with that free safety you can bullet and pass it away and once again like i said the margins aren't great because i don't really have a lot of speed or a great quarterback we want to watch the replay on that you can see once again i'm running it from the hash mark to the short side of the field so this receiver gets across the defense a lot faster and then you can see once he gets inside of this safety once he's basically parallel with him if i go back to the quarterback i'm probably bulleting and pass leading away already as you can see we're basically in that throw off so like i said i don't really have a lot of arm strength i don't really get a lot of dramatic pass leads like i would like but you can see even with a mediocre passing team i could still get that playoff and still make one play touchdowns against every single defense in the game go on i'll do that one more time I'll re-block my tight end because I keep forgetting to do that. I also like to slide my protection in the direction that I'll be rolling. Based off the fact that this quarterback doesn't have a great arm, you're going to want to shorten those throw lanes to get um, the most out of it. And you can see, once again, we're bodying him for another one-play touchdown against cover four. Like I said, if I had Hollywood Brown or somebody that I typically use, it'd be much easier. But this is what I have to work with with the Titans. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense with more passing plays, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.